Hey YouTube, it's Back of Blitz here, back again with another Back Gun Back Attack review. This one is going to be of the Rise deck. The Rise deck has three Back Guns, starting with Gus Burnan, Nada Nigana, and the star of the show, Rise Dragon. This one is the Silver Metal version. All of these Back Gun are, of course, Pyrus. Starting out with Gus Burnan, he has two manual parts, being his feet, which despite what they look like, are not soul pieces, they are just manual parts. Gus Burnan's design is pretty basic. It's very reminiscent of the original Dragonoid design, or Delta Dragonoid design, since he does have the spring-loaded horns. Here's a closer look. I do really like how the blue eyes look on this back is on. And of course, it's 590. Not so large, like the claws. And the detail on his neck is also pretty nice. Nandi Ghana is the next Bakugan on the list, and I think this one is fantastic. Starting off, he has four manual parts, which are his two plastic sole pieces. As well as his arms. This back gun has some absolutely fantastic detail. Starting off, his wings have these really great dragon heads. I do wish they were painted, but they still look great. He also has his body segment, the little dot there, and the little chest plate with different layers of scales. Uh, the mouth is also fantastic with the teeth, which are molded spectacularly. Uh, I do like the eyes. This head is painted really well as, too, as well. Um, the silver going along the back is nice, and I like how it's outlined with gold. As well as these horns, they are also molded really well. We've got some detail on his head right there which is great. The tail is also really good. It has lots of scales going up to this little blade at the end. And underneath, you can see even more fantastic detail with the scales and all the little intricate details around the He also has some great detail on the inside of his wings. Overall, Nana Nigana is a fantastic looking back gun. Um, I almost feel bad for being shoved into the back of a deck, which is really just used to get Rise Dragon. He's also really long. Um, as you can see, if you line up his feet with the card, he is definitely longer than a card. So, he's also a pretty decent occupancy back gun. Uh, not the best out there, but he has his uses. And finally, the star of the show, Rise Dragon. This back gun has zero manual parts and, of course, looks fantastic. He has only one cross piece, which is metal, and on his tail. has 640 G's and he also has some great detail inside the wings uh, on his fingers. I would complain that his thumb is not painted but that is accurate to the manga. Um, even his arms have some great detail going on there. His head 
It almost looks like some mechanical detail. And let's not forget this molded horn, this metal horn, which has absolutely gorgeous uh, flame detail. He also has the really cool looking dragon heads, and his wings are kind of outlined with red paint. Overall, Rise Dragon is definitely my favorite out of this deck. He's painted really well, he's molded really well, and the fact that he has no manual parts is just the cherry on top of all of it. His main gimmick is this long horn, which is supposed to help him get critical KOs. It's not a very effective gimmick. But as you can see when I rolled him, he moved the card a lot, so he has a lot of force when he opens. His neck is pretty strong, not the strongest, but still up there. This guy is a great attack type back design and can do some serious damage. My overall thoughts on this deck is that I think it's one of the better decks that came out of back attack. It comes with one really good back on, one pretty good back on, and one kind of throwaway back on. Now the Gunna is pretty good since it has the long length, which gives it some use in competitive and so it can take up a lot of space in the card. Rise Dragon has a lot of power. It's not the best attack type in the game. It wasn't even when it came out, but it's still a pretty good one. And Gus Burnan is definitely a throwaway, but it's better to have two out of three than it's usually with the Baku Tech decks. A lot of the time you'll have one good Baku gun and two throwaway Baku gun. So it's great to have two good Baku gun in this one. My personal opinions on the Baku gun I love Rise Dragon, and I also love Nadan Gunna, who I think is very underrated. Gus Burnian, I thought it would be my second favorite, but now that I, but since I got this deck in my hand, I can safely say that he is my least favorite back on the deck. For competitive value, I'd give this deck a 7 out of 10. You can do some with it, but it's not going to be a super competitive deck. You're going to need to swap out uh, at least one of the back on in this deck before you have something that I would really recommend playing. Uh, but for my personal value, I have to give this thing, I'm gonna say, a 9 out of 10. Um, I love Rise Dragon. I definitely like the Silver Metal version better. And I also really like Nada Madonna. And I guess Gus Burnham is just more back to that. So I really did enjoy this deck. Overall, if you can get it, I'd recommend it, but if you didn't already want this, then it's probably not really something worth searching for, um, but if you do stumble upon it, then it's definitely something you can buy, and I wouldn't go against you doing so. Anyway, that's my review of the Rise deck, and... This is Back to Blitz, signing out.